I actually have never told the story before. I haven't even told my wife this, so. I am a big fan of Law Dispute and their album Wildlife. It's an amazing record, but I can't listen to it anymore because it reminds me of a terrible time in my relationship with my wife. This would have been shortly after, this is many years ago now, but maybe six months into our relationship, we had like a, a very short-lived breakup that basically I was at the point where like, I'm either gonna marry her or we're breaking up. And we had this, I guess like I got cold feet for like a minute. So 2006, I joined August Burns Red and I had this little um, cute, adorable puppy um, named Madeline. She was a, a pit bull mix, I think. And I got her from when I was painting apartments before I joined the band. Um, I was doing some, some painting in someone's um, apartment and this little puppy just comes bouncing out of the room and she's the cutest little thing ever. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want this dog so bad. So I left a note and I said, hey, if you have or know of a place I can get a puppy just like yours, I would love to purchase one. And they called me back and they said, well, actually, we're trying to get rid of her. Um, my wife and I had like a little bump in the road about six months into our relationship. And we had, you know, this super heavy conversation and broke up for a couple hours. And I had this one La Dispute song, just like, it was actually just a riff from the album uh, Wildlife, like repeating in my head during this whole like heavy conversation. And I cannot listen to that record anymore. At that time, painting apartments, $250 was a lot of money. And I was like, oh man, I don't know if I can stretch stretch this out but I ended up talking to my boss and he threw me um, some some cash to borrow from him I was living uh, I think I was living with him at the time and uh, so I, I got the puppy and I named her Maddie and she was my best friend she would you know she was just the the cutest sweetest dog ever very protective over me um, so then when I when I joined the band I needed to find a place for her to live and I Met some uh, a couple from a friend of mine, and they were like, "Yeah, we'd be interested. You know, we've got two kids, we've got um, a nice size house, so you know, this would work out perfectly." I said, "Okay, great." So I brought her over a couple times, and everything went really well. And I said, "All right, you know, um, you can you can have her, and I've got to go on this tour." It was like a really simple guitar line with with some chorus on it. It wasn't. I mean, it was just kind of like a break. So I went on tour, and. Um, I get a phone call from my friend saying, hey man, there's been a, a, an accident, there's been a, an issue with Maddie. And I was like, uh-oh, okay, what's up? And he said, well, he, she got scared and bit the, um, the father in the hand. And so they went and took her to, uh, I guess, they went and took her and, and, and basically they got her euthanized. They, they put her to sleep. I won't listen to it. I don't want to go back to that place. And what I didn't understand was, you know, why didn't they tell me before they put my dog down, you know? So I was, I was devastated because she was like my best friend, you know, it was just me and her uh, for, you know, a few years and now I'm in this band and, and I thought that this would be a good place for her and then, and then they, they put her to sleep. So I literally would be in the van listening to Cigaros and listening to the album Tack. I would just listen to that record and I was just like so devastated, so bummed that when I come home, I wouldn't have my, my best friend. She likes them, yeah, but um, we don't listen to them together ever because I can't listen to them anymore. <laughs> now I don't listen to that record because it reminds me of her and I know some people would just be like, yeah, man, it's just a dog. But like we, it wasn't, you know, to me. So it was, it was a big bummer. Now I don't listen to that record. And uh, yeah, that record's ruined because of the death of my dog. That record, if you're familiar with it, is pretty sad in the first place. I mean, that song King Park is like gut-wrenching. Like, I mean, it was sad before I had any like emotional ties to it. So... And just like the way the vocals and, and the lyrics are delivered, it's just everything, it's very sad and heavy and you know, it, they're an awesome band and I love them, but I can't listen to them.